Difference between two and four from EspressoEnglish.net Don't say, I'm studying every day for improve my English. The correct sentence is, I'm studying every day to improve my English. It can be difficult to know when to use two and when to use four, so I'm going to give you some examples in this lesson. Use two for destination. We're going to Paris. Use two when talking about what time it is, particularly when you're talking about minutes before an hour. For example, it's a quarter to two. Use two when talking about distance. It's about 10 miles from my house to the university. Use two when comparing, specifically when using the word prefer. You can say, I prefer sleeping to working. Use two when giving something to someone. For example, I gave the book to my sister. Use two when talking about a motive or reason with a verb. For example, I came here to see you. Use two when talking about a function with the verb in the to form. For example, a ladle is a big spoon used to serve soup. Use for in these cases. Benefits. Yogurt is good for your digestion. Use for when talking about a period of time. We've lived here for two years. You can use for when talking about scheduling. For example, I made an appointment for May 3rd. For can also express being in support of something. For example, are you for or against the development of nuclear weapons? Use for when doing something to help someone. For example, could you carry these books for me? Use for when talking about a motive or reason with a noun. For example, let's go out for a drink. And use for for function with the verb in the ing form. For example, a ladle is a big spoon used for serving soup. Let's take a closer look at examples 6 and 7. When talking about a motive or reason, use to plus a verb and for plus a noun. For example, I came to New York to work. I came to New York for a new job. When talking about function, we can use to or for, but to is followed by the base form, and for is followed by the ing form of the verb. This machine is used to make copies. This machine is used for making copies. I hope now you have a better idea of when to use to and when to use for. If you want to continue learning, check out my Advanced English Grammar course, which will help you take your English from good to great. Click on the link in the video or in the description for more information and registration.